Okay, chaps, we are back out fishing. We are on Re on the Solent. Uh, travelled up this morning with my buddy Ray, and we have travelled up to meet with uh, Rich and Leo, Daz, and Martin S UK, or all, all, all on YouTube. I'll leave a link to their channels below. So, yeah, we've come up as a bit of a surprise for Daz. Uh, and um, to see all the guys. Sadly, Mick can't be with us, and Nick, because he's, he's a tad unwell. So, Mick, get well soon, buddy. And uh, sorry that uh, we didn't get to meet today. So, yeah, um, what we got with us? So, I've got a beach caster, um, just cast him out. He's got the Tronics Pro bait capsule on with a bit of prawn. Uh, my weapons of choice today are the leader I can't match. And I've got the, the pen fatum that's been magged. And um, yeah, we're gonna give it a go. I did chuck in a, a bass, uh, a fly rod with me, and I've got a little spinning rod with me as well, but unless the wind dies down, they are not gonna get much use. So yeah, first cast is out. Tent is set up. Fingers crossed for the fish, guys. Fingers crossed. Let's see how we get on, yeah? Uh, apparently there's um, some smooth round around, hence the prone. I've also got a half pound of ragworm from me, uh, with me. Got that from uh, Bill's Bait and Tackle, I think it was called. Um, good shop, good guys here, called it up in a week. Um, quite, quite reasonably priced, so yeah, all good. Rick, pull. Okay, chef, so we're just going to put on a small pulley. Just a really short snood on it. I'll try and get a pin to the bottom a little bit. It's a fair bit of weed out. So we're going to give it a go. Right, we're going to use a five ounce lead. And we're going to put, we've got a, a semi-circle hook. And we're going to put on that bad boy a frozen prawn. Just one. And we are going to manipulate it a little bit. And we're just going to pop that in there. I can feed him around the hook the best we can. And then pop him back out the other side. Let me tear the dango. And a little bit of bait elastic. It's quite a thin bait elastic. I don't like using bait elastic, but sometimes you don't have much choice. This is a biodegradable one, so they say. But who knows? I've never tested it. Wraps on there. Like that. Give him a tug. There we go. Hopefully that will then flap about in the water and attract a little smooth round. We will see. We will see. And then what we do then is we pop that on the little imp. It's a very, very basic running ledger. There we go. Nice and simple.
got a bit of weight on you. We've got a bit of weight. Is it the fish? Is it the fish or is it weed? I think it's weed. Weed fish. Not easy fishing this guys. It's not. Not easy fishing at all. I got off weed. He doesn't want to go. It's a get your hands dirty job again. Not easy fishing. Shit all, as Pat would say. Oh, very hard work, yes. A karate. Could be a fish in there, you wouldn't know. Would you? Oh. Fish, fish, where are you? Not where I need you to be. <sighs> okay guys, this is what we got going out next. Uh, hopefully uh, the wind's not too bad, but it was quite windy here. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we got going out next. It is a, uh, it's a bit of a clip down, um, Paternoster, I don't know what you want to call it. So we've got a bait clip at the bottom and then we've got a short snood with a um, a link clip. I don't know what they call it either. Proper names for them. I, I will find out. Uh, ragworm, tip with prawn. And then the same again on the second one. So basically what will happen is we'll hit the water release. I've got one up high floating about and I have one down low. I think it's like one up, one down. And they got a little SRT spring here then to put attention on it on the top. So that's what's going out next. We're um, alternating it so I'm pulling a big bait out, so two large prawns out. And when that one comes back in I'm pulling this one out. And um, just mixing it up a little bit to see what we got. All the boats going across. It's quite popular today. Hey guys, it's now, okay, wrong hand, it's now 20 to 5, so two and a half, three hours fishing. Hello dude, you okay? So we go, the dogs come to say hello. He wants me to play stick with them. <laughs> he does. I can't play with you, I'm afraid, boy. Yeah, so 
I have not had a bite. Well, no, that's true. I did have a bite, but I didn't connect to it. Um, Martin's had a, a baby smooth hound. Daz has had a smooth hound, a baby one. And a green eel, which I heard is quite rare down here. Uh, but no luck for me, and I don't think Ray has had anything behind me yet either. But we'll keep trying. I'm gonna fish for another couple of hours before heading home. Uh, and we'll see how we get on. Nice easy fishing here, quite clean ground. Just spin you around, you can have a look. It is, tide's dropped off now, we're coming up to low water. Let's have a look at my setup. But yeah, you know, so far, no fish. Um, what have I got going on here? Here's my box. Spare room with me there. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a tip in there. Got the Tronics Pro bait bag. That's really good. Got me a little pink bucket. That was going to be my stripping line if I did any um, fly fishing. That's what that was going to be. Yeah, Richard's just moved down to the bottom now for lower water. I don't think I can be bothered to move. I think I just stay where I am. In the shelter. So yeah. So yeah. A couple more hours guys. Let's see what uh, see what it brings. Okay guys, we're just gonna cross the beach now to see the lads again. Uh, down at low tide now, it is five o'clock. Just gone, ten past five. We got low water. So we're just gonna wander over and see uh, what everybody else is getting on. There we are. Martin? He's got another babby. Let's see what we got, yeah, shall we? This is what we got, let's have a look. What they found. Oh, Daz has got a fish bite on. Here we go. Oh. A little tiny one. Tiny little schoolie. A tiny, tiny little school bass. Look how his little, hang on there. He's tiny. Uh, little there spots on this side. Yeah. So is that a GoPro? Lovely little That's bass. Lovely little okay. fish. There you go, dude. Now, we're going to go up to Daz, guys. Daz just had a cracking knock. So let's see if we can get in with a fish on camera. Did he hear that? That's Rich telling him if he's missed that bite, he's getting a kick. He is full of troubles. Sorry about that. <laughs> there we go, there we go. And now look at that concentration on his face. Look at that, eh? Hey? No, for real! <laughs> the tongue's out. Yeah, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Uh, he's got an, another green eel there, he has. <laughs> yeah. Another yeah, boy! A snotty eel. <laughs> he's, he's welcome to it. Thanks, boy! <laughs> but hey. They've certainly got the fish up this side. Yeah, fish is a fish. <laughs> fish is a fish. He's doing better than me. I'm blanking. He gave a cracking little bite though, he did. He did, didn't he? He did, fair play to it. Okay. I've lost my needle with my bait on. Oh no. Oh, Richie's found a bait on. He's found it. Weed fish, my favourite weed fish. <sighs> oh, that was my fingers. That wasn't meant to happen. Okay, guys, this is the last cast for me. I'm gonna go and start tidying up now. I'm thinking about heading home. So we just got some prawns on there. We're going to whack that out and, fingers crossed, we can catch a smooth hound on our last cast. Not holding up much hope for, but hey. Last cast saloon.
Okay guys, that's, uh, that's it for me. I'm calling it a day. I've had the, uh, the mighty brank, the first sea fishing brank of 2024, and my first sea fishing session of 2024. Um, well, I say brank, you know, there is one rod left out, which is due to come back in any minute now, but that hasn't had a touch. So yeah, I'm not holding out much hope, but we've been fishing now for five hours. And it's a long old journey home. Uh, I think I'm the only one to brank. Uh, Ray's caught a, a snotty eel. Martin's caught a baby pup. Uh, Rich has had a bass pup and an eel. And Daz has had a similar. So yeah, same baits, same location, same rigs. Just the way it goes sometimes. But a bad day's fishing is still better than a day in work, as I say. So yeah, it's been, um, it's been fun. It's good to catch up uh, and meet Rich, Daz and Martin in person and their lovely wives and families. Um, it's always nice to get out and, uh, and meet people for the first time after you've been speaking to them for years. But that's it guys, calling it a day unless there's a fish on this last, uh, on this last cast when I wind it in. Thanks for watching, catch you soon, bye bye.